Hello guys, welcome to today's show. My name is Nachos and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we see our program, for here we will bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world. So for now, we'll start with today's news. Our poor mess in the upcoming second they talk about Arsenal and the people they don't buy. So we're back on the talk say next season Arsenal will challenge for the top four because you don't see the incomings and people will still come. See then they improve on the team. We finish fifth last season and we lose our first position like maybe two matches to go. You get now then they lose our fourth grass because if we can get a team without a recognized or confirmed striker, I'll call the challenge against the likes of top numbers for we get Hurricane, we get Son, and we will not get those kind of caliber of players. Yet we still try and finish fifth. See Manchester United we get Ronaldo, they don't finish like that. So about the talk say this new season when they come. As long as we don't buy this Gabriel Jesus and Gabriel Jesus now a strike away him like say Pep Guardiola they use him for some kind of big big games in trust him. So as the guy they enter Arsenal and the guy they in need of scoring things as in so that the Brazilian national team will feel look and say ah this guy is hitting the ground running oh yeah come and play for us in the World Cup. So the guy they highly and super motivated to shine for Arsenal. So in the look at this season where they come as the break point where we will enter that top four and you can see Arsenal winning some silverware next season this season when they come so it's possible because you don't see the people run by especially that the link up between Fabio Vieira and Gabriel Jesus is going to be very very key well myself I did highly optimistic as for Messi day so I don't know what you would think about it for Messi top do you see Arsenal winning a silverware next season do you even see them breaking into the top four let me know in the comment section Away from that, so Ben Jacobs now come as I call the let us know say Manchester United no day anywhere close to signing Lisandro Martinez. They no day for advanced negotiation like people they think. So now only Arsenal and they advanced negotiation with leads. Arsenal don't get like two bids with they don't reject already. So that link where they link Manchester United with Lisandro Martinez, even though quite alright now because the coach of Manchester United was the former coach of Ajax, so naturally. People, the reason say they need a centre back, so if they go for Lisandro Martinez, if it will likely go join them, that's what people are thinking, but that's not factual. Again, so let us know the facts of the case. Man, you have not submitted any bid, they have not even contacted Lisandro Martinez, so nothing they work as of now. Maybe tomorrow, if it change, but as of now, that the status quo be that. At the same time, so we're going to hear many, many reports about Rafinha agent Deco. So Deco still there in talks with Barcelona. I won't help Barcelona make them feel sign this Rafinha. I you know say four months ago, Barcelona had already accepted personal terms with Rafinha. They give him personal terms. You don't look him, you don't agree him. Waiting the whole the deal for Baka side. I say Baka and Leeds never agree a fee in the region of 60 65 million pounds to carry Rafinha go for Camp Nou. At the same time, Chelsea. Wait up to the one side of and just don't agree a fee with Leeds United for 60 to 65 million pounds. But they don't offer personal terms to Rafinha. Rafinha never get back to them. All these indicators means Rafinha doesn't want to join an EPL club. Is holding out for Barcelona because before everybody did this, because Arsenal never offered the right money. If you say Arsenal don't offer the 60 65, it could have been the same. His first choice is Baka. Now they ain't seeing himself playing. He not seeing himself playing for EPL. So you know go make sense we're going to waste our time. We don't want another Vlahovic on our hands. We go go look for players who go fit join us. I don't read that list of players with the alternative yesterday. Players yapa will be so if we won't go for them, then we'll fit come you get. So we could just do uh, just look for those who will come join us. So they come join us. Um, Arsenal now offer improved financial terms for Lisandro Martinez. You know, so we offer 40 million euros. We leads um, we Ajax never rejects. So now we can't improve on that 40 million euros. We can't give them add-ons like bonuses, like 5 million euros bonuses to make them 40 million and extra additional 5 million in add-ons to get to make the deal 45 million euros. But me at the field say why has not just offer like 45 million euros? Because it will make sense to go sweeten the deal. I has no go reject them. So that's what me I was thinking. You don't need to come and be doing hanky panky, come and be delaying the thing. Offer the money. But at the same time, I can't read one argument yesterday with one point they talk say many people they come say Arsenal know they really spend money. So you can talk say if Arsenal overpay on a player, 
maybe the player not come play well in the future. Now still the same Arsenal fans. We can't they castigate Arsenal and say now we'll go overplay. See Pepe now we'll go overplay for Pepe. When Arsenal wanted to sign Pepe, truth be told, no be only Arsenal they go for Pepe. But Pepe now hot hot that time. Because they dribble when he had the score. He scored a lot of goals. I played that year and I really win the league. He scored a lot of goals. Made a lot of assists. Like when I watch YouTube, I was proud that Arsenal were associated with Pepe. That was why San Heli said, I think that's around San Heli. Now I approve the deal. We make Arsenal leave Saha. Go buy Pepe. Yes. Because they watch the way the guy they played. The statistics was it was terrifying. Like it will scare you. You hear the defender. You hear this guy's statistics. Say, oh no, this guy will come EP, will come scatter everywhere. But at the end of the day, what happened? Now that all of us they cry, they talk. So why Arsenal go overpay for this guy seventy million pounds? It is too much. Now the same mistake Arsenal no one make again. You see Ateta, you see the Gaspar, you see Richard Gallif. Leave them. I believe they know what they are doing. You get. If they talk, say Rafinha know what's that price. You know what I'm that. They don't look at them. She them go buy Ben White 50 million pounds. Nobody them buy him. So if they can come out and say, this guy know what's his price, it's overpriced, believe them. You get. So it's not everything now they know about some things that happen on the ground. So see now, she just don't offer the money with the oil is the fine. Oh yeah, Rafinha go now. Rafinha say no. They wait for Baka. I'm not surprising the Charlie Patino don't increase in physical appearance. So when I see the new new pictures of Charlie Patino, I'm I sure he get the guy don't get six packs, don't get muscle everywhere. I don't know what the guy don't go don't go gym like mad. The guy don't build, don't bulk up. Oh my, please shock me. But it's nice because that type of people they look and say this is like a like a. I wish say Fabio Vieira said but if you go bulk up like this because Fabio Vieira look like one kind of skinny but cool. I don't just understand the guy. Um, Gerard Romero will be one of our super super monitoring spirits. Don't come as I can't analyze this Rafinha deal because Rafinha has three way race. Get Chelsea is there, Arsenal is there, Baka is there. So Baka to say among all these three clubs, now Barcelona and I get the highest chance of signing this guy. Now Barcelona, see the major thing for the transfer. In a person will accept personal terms with a player. Once a player accepts personal terms with you, it shows he wants to join you. Then the selling club, all they have to selling club no go dictate to a player where he will go. All they know is say this is the amount of one color for your head. Anybody will pay this money, now he go carry you, show you back. You go say yes, I agree, no yawa. So that is the only condition, that is the only sentiment we did for Leeds to get. But now we say the guy has accept terms with Baka four months ago. Now the money now can't stop the deal. So now if you say back I don't get agreement with my you for Frankie the jump, money don't fall in, you get. So they will get money to come buy the guy. I'm just to watch how everything they play. But for me, let Arsenal not join hands in this bidding war, you get. Come out, look at alternatives, go and get them. We never sign finish, we will still sign. So we're not going to complain. I'm a repart of self, don't come and say I can't talk about Gabriel Yusuf for Arsenal. So but back on the talk say he like the guy, no doubt. The guy is very, very good. And at the same time, say Gabriel Yusuf will get in chances. For Arsenal because he's very very prolific guy inside the box now Fox eh, any chance go I go wipe out and the guy they very fast skillful I just like the guy so why the him will see many many times because Arsenal and team will say we did not be about creating chances we did create chance are plenty now she will get somebody who say they create for an ingo bust and even if not half chance it doesn't need to be a one on one you get so maybe they give one kind of through ball defender that your front can you dazzle the defender and move wipe shot that's what we're talking about. Don't be every time you find one on one, you and keep her alone. Don't be penalty now. Nah. So that's what it is. Um, uh, get another report. You can the comment side and let us know. Say if Arsenal struggle to get a uh, Rafinha of Leeds, say it go hard for them to also get Cody Gakpo because Leeds United they already open talks with Cody Gakpo. See the one use and replace Rafinha. So I never know whether Arsenal will relax for that one and look for another player. I believe they really need to that one because we don't need links to this guy for a very long time. If you really need him, go and get him because I believe if you put a proposal in front of him and links to the proposal, he's going to join Arsenal, no doubt. This is not go Europe now. Arsenal they go Europe. This is just a skip relegation not too long ago. So go no, just watch that. Our oh, Arsenal they consider Jack Wilshere for the position of academy coach because they won't put coach for the academy of Arsenal. The ring say okay, a former player, a familiar face, men just come maybe the boys say they look and say at least they will really aspire to be like him. So they say don't submit in CV, so he go talk with Metasaka. No Metasaka know whether they go feel work together. Well, if not then choose, no Yawana. Torrell has said don't come and say I can't really speak with El Telegrafo. So we call the talk, we call the ask and say when they see himself for the future, when they see himself playing at Arsenal. So Baba can talk to you, he don't be playing for Arsenal because they don't come outside and tell them in the past, they don't need that. You get. 
Say no they need their DNA. Say even though it's good for her, make him go play outside. Say him for wish, say enjoy Fiorent now or Fiorent now no can do normal. Now say don't come outside. Say in plan her to go play for either Italy or Spain. Get so they even ask her about Boca Juniors. They just rule out that place. So they see they look for a good suitor. We go fit pay Arsenal asking price. I'm not the asking price. I don't, I don't think say this is fifteen million pounds. I know too much like that. I know too much. So they just come pay money, carry the guy. This life no balance. Bro. This story that once upon a time a good player for our midfield, we don't like Emery they use at that time. But see now. Our Fabrizio Romano said, don't come and say, come let us know. Say, go and doozy, don't move to Marcel. And ask now go get 10 million euros from the deal. So now permanent move already. And at the same time, say, ask now they look for how they will take sell Lucas Torreira because it's not in their plans moving on next season. So it will make sense when he come out before he just be on limbo without a club. So you get. So well, uh, just the premier suitors come. If now one sign, I make on the play for that street football, yeah, I'll put a couple of money for that. I'm having a monetary spirit self for Italy. I don't come and say let us know. Say, ask now one whole talks with Torino for Glessing Bremer. Glessing Bremer and Torino centre back. So they talk say their valuation for this guy at 43 million pounds. So Torino sporting director will they call David Vagnati. He don't on his way to London. He's flying to London to discuss with Arsenal the possibilities, how much, how the wage structure, everything will be for this guy there because Arsenal they look say just in case. We don't get Lisandro Martinez because forget loyalty sometimes can be a stumbling block. Lisandro Martinez, now Eric Ten Hag trainer. If Eric Ten Hag come make an offer, and I say man, you never make offer for the guy. If Eric Ten Hag come and say Lisandro, come here, come Manchester United, come join me. The guy did likely ninety percent to go. So Arsenal they cast their nets wide. They look for blessing Bremer and talk that much for self. They for that deal, then sell the monitor. Up. So Arsenal won't know the structure, know everything about it, just in case I ask no do not because. Ajax have not accepted our new improved offer. At the same time, they have not rejected it. They are keeping us in limbo, so we don't know where we stand at the moment. So in the coming days, everything will be clearer. But that Torino guy, that good one. I might even give Ragbona also don't come as I call him back at that. I say making him replace Ben White with William Saliba. Since Saliba did very very good because since Saliba won the Young Player of the Season award in France. So at the same time. Saliba was part of the player of the season, the team of the season, it was part of them. So when they see Saliba replacing Ben White, you get but at the same time, at the same time, let Saliba prove himself in the EPL. You can't compare the level of opposition in the EPL and compare it to this France. They are not the same particular fish. I can't take away what Ben White did for us. We finished fifth. No be beans. You can't compare it, no be beans. You get. So most of you watch us every single week. So if you don't watch yesterday, you should check the top left corner of the screen. You'll see the thumbnail. Click and so that you get all Arsenal updates as they drop all over the world. So it's actually signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Again, out.